Hello, this is Sakari, lead developer of Omni Geometry. Uh, we're about to release a new version, bug fixes, and with one new feature that is pretty, I'm pretty stoked about, and that's uh, exporting animation sequences. So, I have a nice scene here I've been working on, and okay, I would like to share with this some friends or put it online or using uh, using some project like in a movie or whatever, post it to YouTube. So, previously I would have to had record this with an external program or export this frame by frame, which is a lot of work. So, in this new, new version, uh, you can export an animation sequence. So, if I click on this, uh, so animation sequence is a sequence of uh, PNG images. So, for each uh, step of the animation, this will automatically export a frame. So, if you want a uh, one second of video at 30 fps, that's gonna be 30 frames. But uh, let's make a 60 fps video maybe. Or at least, well, let's, let's export just for one second. So that's gonna be 30 frames. And uh, let's do it uh, with full HD. So that's gonna adjust the height so that it matches the full HD resolution. You can even do like 4K or whatever you need. Uh, it will export them as uh, uh, lossless compression PNG files. So, so you can even have a transparent background if you need that. So this is still a little bit, I'm gonna be, uh, turn this on so you can see what it does. So now you can see it's exporting every frame to a PNG file and downloading it to your uh, downloads folder, for example. And this is still a bit experimental feature. So now you can see, let's go check out my downloads. And I'm gonna have 30 frames here. Yeah, just like I uh, should. So each of these frames is one frame of the animation. And now, if we want to actually make a movie out of this, uh, you will have to use some other program. I'm going to use Final Cut Pro. So with Final Cut Pro, I can just take all these frames and drag and drop the timeline here. Then uh, I'm gonna gonna set the duration of the frames to one one uh, frame of the movie, and then uh, it's gonna render a while. Let's let it render the movie so it looks good. But anyway, I'm gonna explain some a bit about this feature. So because this is still a kind of experimental feature and due to browser limitations, we don't have any good way to export movies directly. But we can export frames. But um, here, here you can specify, we have to have we don't actually know when the file has been downloaded by your browser. That's a limitation of not getting access to the local file system. So uh, we have specified a wait time between frame exports to make sure that the frames come in correct order. So you can play around with this value. It's default uh, 500 milliseconds to make sure that uh, the frames get exported in correct order. You might notice that if your machine is too slow or you, you're using huge scenes, uh, then Due to some browser limitations, the exported frames might not come out in the correct order. So you might have to adjust this. You can also put it to like a, a smaller value. So this will export the uh, frames much faster. For example, if I, if I put it to 150, you can see it's going to be exporting a lot faster the frames. So you can play around this. This is still experimental, but we want to. Uh, let you use it so you can um, get uh, movies out of your animations. So now the movie should have been rendered, and you can see that's just that's just one second. And actually, it's in the let's create a compound clip and and uh, let's zoom a bit so we can see. And 
Deep Modifier Read Time Se Reverse Yeah, Final Cut Takes the frame, frames in the uh, reverse order for some reason So here you can see One, one second of animation Of course, if you want to I can also make a master file like just export this as movie I'm gonna show this is a really pointless to export one second but for demonstration pur purposes let's check it out but anyway with this um, you can also use um, if you don't have any video editing software you can use F Oops. all right that's the file so here you can see a full HD one second movie export so that's that's very nice so you can now you can now really use these scenes in uh, your website your YouTube channel your Instagram your movie projects your art projects so if you don't have any uh, commercial uh, movie editing software you can use this free software of FFMVIC so with this uh, you can uh, you can take in a sequence of frames and output a movie. I don't, I don't have the command here, but it should be pretty easy. So with this, you can also create a movie out of these individual frames very easily. Just download it. It's open source. It's free. You have to check out how that. I'm gonna check out uh, how to take in a sequence of frames and make a movie out of that and post, post the comment line so you can easily get started with this. So anyway, yeah, this is. The only new feature in uh, only Unity 1.33. Otherwise, it's just bug fixes. But we're 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 pretty stoked about this feature and, and excited to see what you can come up with this. So make make some cool cool uh, sacred geometry movies and share them. We would be happy to see what you have come up with. This was Sakari, lead developer of Only Geometry. Keep on creating. Bye bye.